speak uh, for them. And uh, John uh, also is a journalist and uh, has your own uh, I do a lot page. He does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> John Krupp. As Phil said, my name is John Crump. You might know me from my articles at Amelan, my YouTube channel, or my work at GOA, or you might not know me. One thing I want you to know about me is that it is my goal in life to make it hell for everyone that wants to infringe on your constitutional right to bear arms, no matter if they're a politician, or they're the FBI, Chuck Schumer, or even the wannabe tyrants here in Richmond, some, some of them. I want to make their life a living hell if they want to infringe on your God-given, constitutionally protected right to bear arms. Notice I didn't say Second Amendment, because the Second Amendment does not grant us anything. The Second Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights, which is a document of negative liberties. What I mean about that is that it is not giving you rights. It is taking away rights from the government to infringe on your rights. And I think that is lost. There's a lot of good bills that are coming up in this session that we can vote for. We've been on the defensive for so long, but now it might be time to go on a little bit of offense. I'm not saying drop defense at all, because we always have to be ever vigilant, but there's good bills. There's the constitutional carry bill. Right now, half the country has constitutional carry. Florida might be the 26th state to have constitutional carry. And I would want to see Virginia err on the side of freedom and liberty. There's also bills to restore preemption. Right now, Virginians are exposed to a legal, legal minefield of anti-gun zones. They're not gun-free zones because criminals always have guns, but they are anti-gun zones. Also, right now, Democrats have the majority in the Senate, but that might change soon. But Democrats might not be the roadblock. The roadblock might be Republicans that think that they have their base. There's something called the lesser of two evils fallacy. It says that I'm not as bad as the other person, so therefore I'm going to get the votes of my base. We have to get rid of that. If a Republican goes anti-gun, we have to primary them. If you can't find someone to primary them, you primary them. Right now, two years ago, we had thousands of people take to the streets to push back against anti-gun bills. And I think we need to do that ourselves again. Not every Republican is totally anti-gun, or totally pro-gun. Who here likes Jason Meares? Yeah. Well, you might like him, but do you know that he is defending universal background checks vigorously, there's a lawsuit against universal background checks. He could enter into a consent agreement with GOA and VCDO, and universal background checks could be gone overnight. But he has chosen not to do that. He could at least stop defending universal background checks, but he is defending them. I need everyone here to call Jason Mieres and tell him to stop defending universal background checks. Stop taking away your rights. Because the right to private transfer is a God-given right. Our right to bear arms is a God-given right. We are here in the land, the homeland of George Washington, James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, George Mason. And they would be so proud of us for taking, for, okay for for taking the steps needed to fight back against all these anti-gun laws. Once again, my name is John Crump. Stay ever vigilant, stay ever free. Always keep in the fight. And most of all, remember, six Semper Tyrannus. Thank you.